Welcome to ChessStrategiesBlog.com. This video is about how to draw a chess game, and uh, we'll cover stalemate and the various ways to end a game in a draw. This video is going to be about the various ways to draw a chess game. There are five ways to draw a chess game, and we'll cover all of them. The first way is that there is insufficient material to checkmate. In order to checkmate, you must have at least two minor pieces, that is a king and two bishops, or a king, bishop, and knight, a king and a rook, or a king and a queen, in order to checkmate. If there's a pawn on the board, there's always sufficient material because the pawn can be promoted to a queen or a rook, and uh, that would be sufficient material to checkmate. In this position, for example, white has sufficient material to checkmate, and he can win the game by moving his king to e6. The black king might move to d8, and now white wins by squeezing the king out. The king only hit, the black king only has one move. The white king moves to e7 to guard the queening square. And uh, white has a queen and will easily win the game. So as long as there's a pawn on the board, there is sufficient material to give checkmate. These positions are all positions where there is insufficient material to checkmate. Bear kings is a draw. This position, on the other hand, is, is sufficient to checkmate. A bishop and a knight against the king can force checkmate. And I will have a future video on how to give checkmate with a bishop and a knight. This position illustrates the stalemate, which is a draw. If it's white's move, he can win this game by moving queen to e2, checkmate. If, however, it's black's move in this position, he doesn't have a legal move. Here the square is guarded by the queen. That square is guarded by the king. The other squares are guarded by the queen. But the king is not in check. And if it's black's move, he's not in check and he doesn't have any legal moves and the game is a stalemate, it's a draw. To illustrate the draw by threefold repetition of position, I'm going to use this example of a perpetual check. Don't think, however, that a threefold repetition is always perpetual check. It's not. Any threefold repetition, and, and it doesn't have to be three times in a row, it can be three times during the course of the game over any number of moves. If the, if the position has been repeated three times with the same player to move and the same castling and capturing privileges, then the game is a draw. This sometimes occurs by one side continually giving check to the other king, and that would be the case here. In this position, though black has a huge advantage in material, white can draw the game by continually giving check to the black king. And no matter what black does here, white can always give check either on d1, f3, or h5. This is a fun uh, position to know. It's probably not a very practical position because this would almost never come up in a real game. But the idea of being able to draw the game by continually giving check to the opponent's king is something that you should keep in mind. It often comes up as a resource for drawing a game that would otherwise be lost. The fourth way to draw a game is where the players make 50 moves without moving a pawn or capturing a piece. If the players have, have made 50 moves, without including a pawn move or a capture, then the game is a draw. This would come up in the difficult checkmates, like this bishop and knight checkmate, or a queen and king against a rook and king. You must finish the checkmate in 50 moves or the game is a draw. And finally, the fifth way, and by far the most common way, for a game to end in a draw is where the players agree to a draw. The way to offer a draw 
is to say to your opponent something like, I'll offer a draw, and make your move on the board, and then punch your clock. That way your opponent is thinking about the draw, whether to accept it on his own time, and you've made a move to uh, that he can either respond to or accept the draw. Well, that's all I have for today on how to draw a chess game. I hope you've uh, learned something from it. Be sure to visit my blog, chessstrategiesblog.com, subscribe to my YouTube videos, and I'll have more great stuff coming soon. Talk to you again soon.